Only hit each other. <laughs> That's great. Yes! <laughs> this is <afro> <laughs> We're gonna show you guys how to bleed brakes today. Brand new NCY Slam Cal. He's running a 200 millimeter floating NCY rotors. Paul, Paul left his uh, socks at my house. We got this little cutie in today here too, guys. He's in a little vacuum kit here, which in theory, we don't even need you. You don't have to do that in theory if you're using it. Why are you using that tool? No, none of our fans are gonna have that tool. Well, they should buy it. Give her some pumps. Give her some pumps. You're Yoda. You're Shock Yoda. Do you think Skylar would be like Jabba the Hutt? So I just typically try to work the air out most I can, even though it's not super critical because you're gonna have air in here, you're gonna have air in this fitting, so. People don't do basic maintenance. Like that's really why cars lit. Master cylinder, so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more. There you go. So all that air is trapped. <laughs> That's a weak sounding uh, horn. Hey, the turn signal works. You look good on it. Oh, they're gonna hit the car. Hey! Hey, hey! Don't hit the car, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Only hit each other. <laughs> we went to a, a live, and you guys yanked us out of the car and then dropped the scooter, so we had to get on it and chase you down. <laughs> Actually, dude, it has a better top speed than his. It's because you got that uni filter on there. It's down there. The blinker is on. Bing bong. Oh, he's pulling on you. What? Oh, he's got it. He's got it now. <laughs> the break. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is Pat's jam. This is his calling. You need a scooter. Yeah. Yeah, this is all you, dog. You need a scooter, guys. I forgot about the whole spin up here. Come on, this is your wheelie, Skyler. Oh, do it. Do some gas. <laughs> <laughs> this is Afro. Yeah. Come on! Stand up, wheelie. Well, now without my helmet, hey. Oh, watch out. Damn, he had the jacket I wanted. Get it, Skyler. <laughs> Little less gas. Go! Oh. <laughs> He's uncoordinated. Oh, Look at this. We just been well. running them into each other. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, watch out. Uh, we're gonna show you guys how to bleed brakes today. Ooh, that. Hey, did you crack it? No. Well, you better not have. Uh, I definitely made up. What we got going on is this is uh, Zach West Prebug, and we are gonna change these bolts out. They're just temporary, um, just because the hardware store had. We're gonna order some nice ones in, but he is running. Uh, a brand new NCY Slam Caliper. These are really, really nice. They're not even the same ballpark as like Frando, that stuff's all trash. Um, this is, uh, sorry Frando if you're watching, uh, your parts are junk. Um, Frando? Frando, trash. Frando, 
this. No. Uh, no. Focus stage six are okay. We, what what I, I like is be I like Beambo calipers. No, Beambo. We had a bike built uh, by somebody down in California that put a caliper instead of a Brembo, it was a Beambo caliper. Um, so, anyways, uh, he's running a 200 millimeter floating NCY rotor. This is a really expensive part, but it is a really nice rotor. <laughs> the NCY forks. We've got our our shims up here in a factory tree. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy working. Uh, hey Paul, we need to snug this rotor up. Um, so yeah, it's all mocked up. We're gonna get fluid in the system and show you guys kind of how to bleed it. Sometimes we use vacuum bleed where we'll put, put a vacuum tool down here to pull the air out. Sometimes what I like to do is I actually hook a syringe up to here and it's reverse bleed. And so you're gonna send fluid from here all the way up, up the line to work the bubbles out. It, it, I've, I've had it where some calipers are a little bit more difficult, some masters are more difficult. I've had it take 15 minutes to be perfect. The, where the bleeders on the wheel side? So on the wheel reason. side, yeah. This is actually really oh, easy. This is actually, and look at the, the 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 nut on the bleeders bigger too. I know. On this NCY, normally they're like a six. I, um, but. I can answer your question. Is it uh, a personal okay. question? No, yeah, it's super personal. Personal? Yeah. Paul left his uh, socks at my house. Ew. <laughs> why the socks? I don't know. I was, that's what I was going to ask Weird. him. Weird. Like, why are you leaving your socks around? Hey, uh, check, check this out. Why you got it running? So remember, if you guys ever want to get highway bars, don't get ours that are super legit. Go to eBay and get you some of those um, variable foot placement pegs. You, you know what's funny is we had a hater on Facebook say that our pegs, our ours, we were buying these and rebranding them as our own. I'm like, no. no. These... No, not even close. Close. Yeah, the, this was your only option for several years, uh, but it's actually electrical conduit. So remember, you can actually see the the like schedule, whatever it is on the side. Oh it's electrical God. conduit, and uh, yeah, these are definitely sketchy. But for a while, it's all that's all you had. So do we need this on right now? I'm I'm letting it run to warm. Okay, it's stinky. Oh, it, no, it just stinks. So yeah, yeah. Okay. we got this little cutie in today just, here too, guys. Yeah. Check that out. Ooh, what? Julie? No. Can we name, if we buy that, can we name it Julie? Okay. What if we painted Julie on the side of it? No. What if we covered it in pictures, like a paper mache of Julie's? All right, uh, so we're starting with an NCY master, uh, or I'm sorry, the stock master up here. And again, like I said, there's gonna be a few different processes that we may have to do. Do you have the syringe and the uh, syringe? bleeder? I don't know where the syringe is. I believe I got used for gear oil. Oh, that's perfect. Brake bleeder. Okay. Check this out. <laughs> the ampli mat. Yeah, so we made this fancy mat here. It, goes, it doesn't uh, it doesn't stay up very well, so I just drilled a hole and made a little bracket. It's fun. Yeah. See that? I like now? the zip tie. Oh, oh, and 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 your boy, your boy, magnets on the bottom of the bottle. Those Boom. Are so strong. They're strong magnets. It's fine. That's actually pretty strong. It's not no, bad. It's it needs so to, it needs two more, but because well, this tips over, it leaks if it tips over. So that's solid. Uh, okay, so we can't reverse bleed it because the syringe is gone. Where's the brake fluid? Uh, I don't know. That's what you were supposed to do. There, big big pop up. Uh, hey Brandon, will you take me to Walgreens? Why would I take you to Walgreens? Did you drive yourself to Walgreens? What? Did you not drive your vehicle? I didn't. Oh. I picked him up. Yeah. I'm like, I, apparently I'm like his chauffeur. I picked him up, I took him to his doctor's appointments. Well, I'm trying to get lunch. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, I gotta go to Walgreens and get some stabby things. Did they, oh yeah, cause you have, you have everything you need now, except for. The, except for the pokers. The pokers. Okay, let's bleed, bro. I gotta bleed it so we can get lunch. Okay, I'm gonna pump it, I'm pumping. Wait. You got fluid in there? Wait. <laughs> oh no! What'd you do? Oh, start over. <laughs> start over. <laughs> oh, they both died at the same time. That's a bad sign. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Come on, Paul. He'll climb, Paul. Oh, you're going to need Trevor to start it. All right, let's make a jump or something. We gotta make a jump. Well, no, there's one right, right here. That's there it is. <laughs> you should probably be wearing it. Oh, he's going to he's get his helmet. Get <laughs> hey, Paul. He said he's about to jump in. <laughs> oh yeah, he's definitely the best rider of the day. Uh oh. Oh, he's going at it again. He's going. <laughs> what is he doing? So we're going to start using our little vacuum kit here, which in theory, we don't even need you. You don't have to do that in theory if you're using it. Your wrench is the right size. There you go. Looks like you grabbed the right wrench. Are you Weird, ready? right? Holding it. Why are you using that tool? No, none of our fans are going to have that tool. Well, they should buy it. We don't even need to... I just do this. Okay, I'm holding it. Give her some pumps. Give her some pumps. You look like a mad scientist when you're working. Thank you. I do? Yeah. You know what? Hey, when you see this, what does it remind you of? Austin Powers, yeah. like, that's not mine, that's I not swear. And then he pulls out the book, How to Use Penis Pump by Austin Myers. <laughs> Our Austin Powers. <laughs> Austin right Powers, yeah. <laughs> that's such a good good movie. I watched it the other day. All right, Damn, all right, gosh. Pumper. Paul, have you... Okay. Holding? You holding it? Yeah. So we're going to look. So Paul's holding it. We're going to see if there's any bubbles coming out. If you angle your line up like this, you'll see them. Oh, she's bubbly. Oh, bubbly. All right, pump it up. Pump up the jam, Paul. Pump, it pump, pump it up. Probably gonna get demonetized for saying that. Hold. Pump. You getting any pressure? Pushing okay. down on me. Under pressure. Hold. Holding. Pump. Okay, hold. Pump. Nothing? No. Okay. Let's, uh... I'm gonna just pull this caliper off because sometimes it helps. Do that because in theory, the caliper doesn't even have to be on this bike to test mm -hmm. it. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll push these pads in, and that that'll force uh, mm -hmm. the force the fluid up your way. They're already out. Okay, go ahead and pump it up. See any bubbles coming out? Moving the caliper around. Dang, nothing, huh? Pump it? I wanna go to the other one. Let me see. Let go. Hmm. Brakes are never, they're just, it's never, uh, you like it's never an exact science. It's always, uh, some bleed better, some are worse. Oh, who's that? Uh, could be the trail guy. What is he? Jesse. Oh, is he picking both these up? Mm -hmm. okay. You're Yoda. You're Shop Yoda. <laughs> Shop Yoda. Because somebody said, Je yeah, you said the Jedi thing, yeah. but I think you're Shop Yoda. I like it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's good. 
I mean, I'm not quite as wise as Yoda, but maybe someday. Do you think Skylar would be like Jabba the Hutt? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yay. No, never mind. I can't. I can't. I don't want to go down this list because it may not end up good for anybody. So, guys, what we're going to do here, if you're still with us, we're going to try to reverse bleed it. Now, reverse bleeding is definitely the best way to do it, in my opinion. So, first, you're going to need brake fluid, and then you're going to need a syringe to do this as well. So, we're going to take our EBC brake fluid here. You can do this by yourself. It's not something you need somebody to help with unless you're Paul and you struggle to do anything by yourself. We love you, Paul, but we're trying to give you wings, bro. We're trying to give you wings so you can fly out into adulthood. He's still in the nest right now. Take this hose, and I would always wear gloves, guys. Break through this nasty stuff, um, and it will destroy your fairings. So very important, that's why we do that. It will wreck fairings in no time flat. So um, always wear gloves, always protect your fairings. It, I've seen it just my runners completely destroyed. The fairings are cracked on it because got brake fluid on it a couple times and it just it just takes one or two drops and they'll just crack and split and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, brake fluid is not something you want to get on your fairings, plastics, anything like that. So I just typically try to work the air out most I can, even though it's not super critical because you're gonna have air in here, you're gonna have air in this fitting. So I get out as much as I can. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop this guy open like so, and then you're going to come over here, and watch this here, and you should be able to see some bubbles come up. There you go, see that? So what that's doing is I'm, I'm squeezing this here, and it's taking the, the, the fluid, pushing up here, all the way up, so you're essentially, you're driving all the air, you're driving all the air up into this, um, into this cylinder here, master cylinder. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more. There you go. So all that air is trapped inside the line, which you see we couldn't get out by just regularly bleeding it. So keep squeezing. So now you see just fluid coming out. So likely the air's out. Um, well, there's a little more. There we go. So that's probably pretty good. So maybe you'd like move the caliper around and whatnot. I got it. Thank you though. I'm done for a moment. I got this. Do you? I'm showing the people in the video how you don't need multiple people to do this unless you're Paul. Because Paul, we were trying to get Paul his wings. It's just it's just convenient so that we don't spill anything. It is. I would say. Like, I don't is. like doing a bench bleed on a car. I'd rather have somebody come help me. Yeah. But. You are 100 percent right. You do not need two people to. Win no, this. it it does help, but but you don't but need. But it helps. It does. <laughs> that video. Well, now what you can do, and again, you don't have to have the caliper off to do this. It just what I like to do is put something in between here, like so. It's going to simulate the master cylinder, or I'm sorry, the rotor. So then you just pump this up here. I didn't you bring in two sets of? Oh no! So one, if I'm not mistaken, one of those pairs was still good tires. From the so these pads are moving, see guys. See if these pads are moving as I squeeze this here. There's some air coming out, but the pads aren't moving a whole lot. There's probably still air in the line. And we're dealing with old master cylinders and old lines and stuff, which definitely makes it a little more, a little more, a little more challenging. Yeah. Sometimes you can. Oh, there you go. See, shake the line. Yeah. Oftentimes, people get stuck like right here in the line. Let's see if I can just shake some of the air out of this line. Now we're getting it. So reverse bleeding isn't always like the end all with these. Sometimes it works. Good at times it doesn't. Oftentimes what I found if you take this master off and move it around, you get air stuck right here in this corner. Um, so I'm gonna try to pump it up and tap on the corner of that master. See if we can get some air out of here. There's a couple bubbles. There's definitely some bubbles coming out, but. So like I said, guys, sometimes I've had them where you reverse bleed them and they're perfect, right? From right after you do that. Other times I've had to do this. Other times I've had to um, unbolt the master and move it because there's air right here in this line. And it's just having a hard time getting up and getting uh, getting the air up and out. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take this off real carefully, you don't spill. Take this off and move it up to work some of that air back up out of this master. Okay, so now we're gonna put some, apply some vacuum. Work, 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 work. See, Skylar, work, 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 work. Wow. What's love got to do with it, got to do with it. Okay, so we're gonna vacuum, try to get some fluid out of here this way. See if that helps. Oh, yeah, it's going out. All right, guys, so I took the master off because I was definitely having a hard time getting the air out. And what I'm gonna do is, because you guys see it's got this angle here, right? So it's hard for air to get up around that corner. So I take it, angle it a little bit, and see there, bubbles. So all that air was trapped right in that line. As you guys saw, we couldn't work it out. We couldn't work it out with it being flat on the bars. So it really helps to, to take the master off and turn it a little bit to kind of work it out. And I can already feel pressure building right now. It doesn't take a lot, just a few little bubbles like that to just make your brakes not even really work at all. Just having that angled just a little bit differently right now. And this lever's feeling like really, really good. Just take your time with this, move it around. You can like kind of tap the line too, but I. I have a feeling that's it. So you guys saw verse bleeding did not work. Vacuum bleeding did not work. It helped to get the fluid and a lot of the air out, but you could sit there for hours and I've done it before. Ugh. You could sit there for hours trying to get the air out of the line and all it takes is just take it off and move it around a little bit to work, work, work it. What? Change your oil plugs. Change your oil plugs? Oil folks. Change your oil. You don't want your oil. Bring it up here. Give them, give them a close, close up. Uh, once it's done for now. Oh, it's still going? Yeah. People don't do basic maintenance. Like, that's really why cars lick. All you have to do is change your oil. When was the last time Paul changed oil in his van? I haven't even changed oil in my van since I got it. I don't know if I've ever seen Paul change oil in his van, ever. It leaks so much, I think he just he's- pours it in. He just yeah, pours that's it not, in. that, no. He says no. No. I, I haven't changed the oil in my wife's van for like 10,000 miles, but you I have the whole oil change sitting in your garage. I do. No, is that just the transmission? Is it the motor too? I think I sold you the fluid. Did you? Everything. I don't like that van, so. It just sits in the garage anyway. No, she drives it every day. Oh, it just parks it right back in the garage every day? Yeah, she drives it every day. It's her daily. So, brakes feel pretty good. They need a little bit of bleeding. What you guys can do too is take this off, and I'm going to go ahead and pump the master. You guys will see the pads move. See that? So you want to watch this level. You don't want to go too, down too much, but I'll kind of get those pads to come in and get those pistons to move. And then I'll take these pistons and push them back out to force air back up the line, but you won't do that with the Phillips. I just do that with the flat blade. So I'm gonna put my screwdriver right here. I'm gonna rotate it and you guys can watch to see if there's any air coming up. There you go. So you guys can see that air and fluid coming back out of the line. Oh, it's a good thing we got this little protector here. A little, little squirt action there. It came out the top? Well, yeah, I don't have a lid on it. She juice. All right, so now I'm gonna pump it up a little more. See if it builds some pressure. Pretty good. It's gonna work so you guys can still see there's some bubbles coming out. So it just takes time uh, working that lever. Ooh, she's feeling good now. There you go. So that's what you wanna get out is those, all those little bubbles there. Yeah, it feels pretty good. You know, it'll get better. The line will kind of bounce around and vibrate and whatnot and work some of the air back out, um, out of the masters, so. There you can see some of those bubbles coming back up now. See that? Okay, so now I feel confident enough I can put this, put this back on the bike and kind of see how it feels. All right, Brandon got this all bled out we'll go over the rest of the bike soon and so as you see we replaced the bolts and got the spacers all trimmed out one final little tip if you're having problems getting your brake bled after all those tips that Brandon gave you zip tie this overnight and bring it all the way to the bar zip tie it and then 
bleed it one last time with it zip tied after it's sat for anywhere from like two to eight hours and it should resolve all the air in the system so hopefully this helped you guys bleed your brakes if you have any questions whatsoever drop them in the comments or send an email to the shop or you can also give us a call we'll see you guys on the next video